I'm at the Denver International Airport where there's tons of conspiracy theories surrounding this place. Let's just get down to the bottom of this. Supposedly, it went over $2 billion while building this airport. Is that true? I, no, I don't know that. Okay. I know it was way over $2 billion. So it went over budget. It went way over budget. The following are facts. Construction of the airport fell 16 months behind schedule and went $2 billion over budget with a final cost of $4.8 billion. Here are some of the theories. In the Denver airport, there is supposedly an underground facility meant to act as an emergency bunker for the global elite made up of billionaires, world leaders, politicians, and celebrities. Another theory suggests that there is a vast underground network of New World Order command bunkers. And another theory suggests that there is a FEMA concentration camp for future use. There's a lot of conspiracy theories about the airport here. When they were first building it, you know, especially in the bottom part, the lower part of it, mm -hmm. the airport here, you know, where the baggage comes in. Yeah. An airport construction worker claimed that the scheduled delay had been because five multi-storied buildings had been built beneath the airport. The same construction worker, along with others, reportedly said that there was a complex network of tunnels beneath the airport. It was later determined that these underground tunnels may actually now be home to the airport's rail system. When you enter the Denver airport, there's a horse statue officially titled Mustang, but nicknamed Lucifer, and is thought to be cursed. One conspiracy about the horse statue is that it represents the fourth horseman of the apocalypse, which represents death, spoken about in the biblical book of Revelations. Its eyes glow red, a weird fiery red in the middle of the night. The horse statue actually fell on its sculptor, killing him by severing one of his arteries. We made it to the Denver International Airport dedication stone. If you look closely, you can see that they have the Freemason logo. Clear and proud. The Freemasons are a secret fraternal society that's allegedly the largest in the world. This secret society has existed at least since the 18th century, but possibly as far back as the Middle Ages. The Freemasons have had many powerful members throughout history, which has made people suspicious about the organization's intentions. The date that the airport was dedicated was March 19th, 1994, and that number equals 33, which is um, the highest level that you can get to in Freemasonry. This mural is titled, In Peace and Harmony with Nature, and is supposed to address the destruction of the environment. This mural is titled, Children of the World Dream of Peace, and is supposed to represent the wish to get rid of violence in society. Just seeing the couple murals that are here in Denver, um, there's four in this airport, the two that are on that side and the two that are behind me. Um, they're pretty much showing kind of like, you know, different ways of how the Illuminati, like, affects life in every way. The Denver Office of Cultural Affairs has publicly outlined the process of choosing artwork for the airport. A project selection panel made up of community members and artists is appointed to choose the artwork, but it must be approved by several government committees and the mayor before being commissioned. Three dead women that look like they're all from three different nationalities. We have a letter from a, some, a child who died in Auschwitz in the Denver airport. So I don't understand the connection between me trying to catch my flight and having to run into this. If you look closely at this image of the dedication stone in the Denver airport, you will see it says, New World Airport Commission. The New World Order is thought to be a small group of powerful people secretly working together throughout history towards an all-powerful global government. Even if the murals aren't referencing the New World Order, many people in government had to approve them before they went up.